we've got the number one team in the nation right now, 9 0, undefeated, the Louisville Cardinals here in the first game. And Texas Tech 5 and 3 under Chris Beer. They have lost their last three, two of them in overtime. And of course, Jay Aron all the way to overtime of the national championship game a year ago. Last three games, again, two of them, as Jay mentioned, without Jemias Ramsey. Their leading score, and he missed part of the, the third game as well. And their last two losses both came in overtime. Warren misses the three in the corner. Down with the rebound is Clark, and this is what he can do. He can get the board, he can bring it up the floor, and he can make a play at the other end. Another contest inside, offensive rebounded by Holyfield, who's checked back into the game. Great cut, great find. And McDonald's All American puts up an air ball. Back comes Clark. Edwards knocks it down. Little run here for the Red Raiders. You mentioned a Clark averaging about six assists per game. Just picked up his first tonight. Drive it. Instead, Edwards again. Knocks down another one, and this one's a three to tie the game. But Tiwa gave a great block out. Clean look. Edwards. Followed by Benson. Somehow it goes. Little triple screen. Boy, Clark's wide open. There it is. Moretti finds Clark. Can't get the shot off. Back to Moretti. Nice little fake on Johnson. Tough floater. Four-point lead. Red Raiders. Good defense by Ward to move his feet and cut off the baseline. And Holyfield needs help. Good defense by Williams. Clark will put it up and knock down a long two. Now that Gary Williams is no longer <laughs> at Maryland. Yes, no longer the clubhouse leader. Yeah, they needed somebody to step forward. Well, don't knock Buzz Williams off that pedestal so quickly. Sabrasov with a corner three. He just plays so hard and so alert. See if they can get Moretti going. Slips through a double team. Can't get the bounce. Follow, though, will go. Preview of game two tonight between the Hoosiers and the Huskies. UConn and Indiana in game two tonight. McMahon wide open. Can't leave him. Healthy and playing well at the end of the year. You're going to have a chance. Shannon saddled with fouls early in the half. Play allegations and so forth. Enoch the kick. Sutton is wide open. Can't hit the three. War is on the glass and lays it in. Here comes McMahon. They can't get it to him. Sutton picks up his dribble and needs some help and turns it over. A weak play, but a great play by Texas Tech. Wow, and Moretti with a really nice pass to Shannon for the slam. But running the floor, playing ahead of this Texas Tech defense, you don't have to grind it out. Wide open, Moretti didn't get the pass. Edwards didn't see him. Now a step back jumper is there. The perfect fit. You have rivalries that you're used to and fans are used to. Different looking Big East in many senses, of course, than it used to be, but still a great fit for UConn. Long jumper, it's a two. Warris slips. It's got to be something on the floor. We're seeing way too much of this. Holyfield lays it in. Confusion being avoided for announcers. Yeah, no, it's just <laughs> confusion <laughs> reigns over me. So <laughs> I'm drawn to it. <laughs> Moretti nice. finally gets one to go down. And Moretti knocks down another one, his second in a row from beyond the arc. Who's going to take the shot? Clark doesn't want to. Fumble the pass. Shot clock down to five. Now he'll put it up and bury it for three. Clark with a size advantage on Kimball. Benson off the glass. It'll go and a foul. Well, you may be able to question a decision here. There are players made, but you can't question the effort. Nice cut. And a bucket for Holyfield. Another assist for Clark. They'll trap every ball screen. Holyfield spinning. Shannon with one on the shot clock. What a big time shot by Terrence Shannon Jr. Sutton back out to McMahon. All they can do is launch shots right now. McMahon will hit one. They beat number one Louisville 70 to 57 in the first game of the Jimmy B Classic here at the Garden.